Here we have a very nice looking 2006 Subaru Forester in silver. Car's in a great condition for its age, lovely interior, some nice features to the vehicle as well, as you'll see tomorrow on the video. Looking at the offside front tyre first, lots of tread there, good 4mm of tread. Offside front alloy, as you can see we've got a bit of curbing, some of the paint has peeled off the alloy as well, some light curbing around the outside edge, again a couple of light little marks here and there. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, uh, the bodywork has got a couple of dinks in, uh, in the driver's door and rear passenger door, no real sign of any heavy dents etc. Looking around the front panel here, you've got some light scratches that could do with a polish to the paintwork. Um, again, a couple of very light scratches there to the mirror. No signs of any damage though. Looking around the driver's door itself, again, a couple of light scratches here and there. A couple of light little marks, quite a few little tar marks to the bodywork. No signs of any damage at all to the driver's door. Again, we've got some chips there in the door edge, could do with some touchings. Um, as we can see, you've got the sunroof up top, you've got your roof bars and also you have got tinted windows on the vehicle as well. Rear passenger door once again we have got some light scratches and some little marks to the uh, paintwork there, some light scratches below the uh, door. Door edge itself, a couple of very minor touchings needed on the door edge. Looking at the uh, rear quarter of the vehicle again some light little scratches to the paintwork as we can see on the back here and towards the rear of the vehicle, no signs of any damage. Rear tyre, uh, looking at around 3 to 4 mil, And the offside rear alloy, uh, just appeared to be in a lovely condition actually, no signs of any curbing or any scuff marks, a couple of light scratches. Nice condition there. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. As you can see, got the rear parking sensors, a couple of uh, touchings of paint required to the back, again some light scratches along the boot as well. Uh, nothing too serious, some touchings required on the rear bumper there also. No signs of any serious damage at all. Near side rear quarters also in good condition. As you can see here, um, looks like a bit of the uh, the films coming off, the window tint on the back there, so beware of that. And take a look inside the boot. Parcel shelf, lovely condition as well. And we've got your spare wheel in the back there. All is well there. Moving around to the near side rear tire. And again, we're looking at around 3mm of tread. Near side rear alloy, unfortunately, you can see we've got some curbing there with some paint peel, some scuff marks, and again, a lot of paint has peeled off the alloy on that side. So again, could do with a refurb, to be honest, and again, some curb marks to that one side. Taking a look down the near side of the vehicle, once again, we have got a couple of light dinks down the bodywork of the car, no signs of any dents, etc. Again, some touchings needed to the paintwork, also, some light scratches moving all along the rear passenger door here. Very light, so should be able to polish out, no problem. Front door edge could do with a couple of touchings, and again, some light scratches on the front passenger door. Now, the wing mirror on the passenger side, as you can see, has cracked on the actual indicator lens, and we have got some light scratches to the mirror as well. Some light scratches moving all the way down the front uh, end of the vehicle, and at around 3 to 4 mil of tread on the tyre. Looking at the near side front alloy, a bit of a curb mark towards the bottom there. Again, some curbing as well to the outside edge, so potential refurb required. And looking on the bonnet of the vehicle, you can see you've got a small dent just here. And also one next to it, so you've got a small dent there and there. A couple of dinks around the front I'll show you in a second. Looking at the front of the vehicle, fog that's a bit uh, mossy. Uh, a couple of stone chips on the front. It's got the headlight protector covers on there, so they just clip off. A couple of stone chips to the front, so a couple of touchings required there. No signs of any damage at all to the front end of the vehicle. And once again, a couple of light little dinks in the front end of the bonnet there. Take a look at the interior of the vehicle. Now it's lovely inside. We've got full black leather interior. As you can see, slightly bit of wear mark. Again, that's just age related. No signs of any damage, no rips, tears, etc. to the leather. Back of the seats are also in nice condition. As you can see, it's very tidy inside. That large sunroof in there as well. Door panels are also clean. Take a look at the driver's seat. Once again, no signs of any damage. Slight bit of wearing mark to the, the bolsters. Again, age related. And the same to the front passenger seat as well. Dashboard etc is immaculate, got a large screen there, it's touch screen, I'll show you that later on. 
but again it is lovely and tidy. Stepping inside the vehicle itself, we are looking at two sets of keys with the vehicle and again they work perfectly fine. As you can see there, no issues at all. Now just getting the car started for you. That lovely two and a half litre super engine burbling along there, no problem at all starting the vehicle. Sounds great and it really does shift this car as well. 68,056 miles with no symbols appearing on the dash there. Most function wheel in nice condition as you can see. Touch screen navigation showing our current location working perfectly fine so no issues at all there works great. CD and radio. Again no problems at all function out. As you can see it's lovely and tidy inside nice and clean. No problems at all with any of the blowers they're working fine. Air conditioning, push to turn that on. And we are looking at heated seats as well, and they work perfectly fine as well. Quickly just showing you the, uh, the sunroof there. As you can see, no issues at all there. Does work perfectly fine. And goes all the way back. So lovely large sunroof. Taking a look at the documents, looking at the V5. The vehicle has had two owners, so two owners on the vehicle. MOT here till September 13th 2015, so plenty left on the MOT, you won't have to worry about that for a while. And we are looking at a full partial franchise history just to top the vehicle off. So quite a few stumps on Subaru, you've got 11, uh, 1 sorry, 3, 7, 11, 16, all done at Subaru those, 39, and you can see it's had the cam belt and water pump done, so it's had the cam belt done at 39, which is great. 55 there and a full service very recently at 65,000 miles. So that's spot on there. Great service history. There we go, guys. Very good car for the money. It's the Subaru Forester 2.5 litre um, sunroof, heated seats, touchscreen navigation, good mileage for its age, nice condition, and full service history as well. Very nice looking car indeed.